Hello and welcome to this T156 tutorial video. My name is Joe Mills and I'm going to be taking you through an example of the kinds of preparation and basic practical tasks you need to consider when preparing your introductory video. Almost all videos are best improved by good planning, even if this is just a very short consideration of what you want to achieve. The first thing I'd suggest you do is thoroughly read the task outline on the module website. I've read the task outline, but I'm not 100% sure what's needed, so to get some more ideas I'm going to watch an existing example, which I found here on Open Studio. I'm going to make it full screen, and now let's watch it together. My name is Chris High. I work for the Open University. I really enjoy making videos. Hey. <laughs> I'm always ready to learn more and to share what I know. Having watched that, I have a much clearer idea of what's needed. Again, I should stress that we don't want you to make this overcomplicated or too overly polished. Now I have a better idea of the task requirements, one of the most important requirements seems to be that I record a voiceover introducing myself and commenting on my hopes for my T156 studies. With this in mind, the next thing to do would be to note down some basic ideas for this voiceover. This doesn't need to be a script, some people are happier scripting themselves Others just want things to flow naturally. Either way, it's good to have some basic ideas. Here's an example of the ideas that I came up with for my voiceover. Firstly, introducing myself. Secondly, where I work, although this is by no means a requirement, and you may want to keep this private. Next, I'm going to include some basic background information about my interests. This might add a nice personal touch to the video. I'm going to include a bit about my interest in video making and that I'm already an active video maker. Finally, my hopes for studying T156. At this stage, I don't want to include anything else. The best thing to do at this point would be to time yourself doing a rough run through of the voiceover. The task outline tells me the video should be between 15 and 45 seconds. I need to check that I'm within that boundary. I'm going to use the stopwatch on my phone here. Let's give it a go. Hi, I'm Joe Mills and I'm studying T156 Digital Film School. I work for the Open University. When I'm not at home, my favourite place to be is Catalonia, Spain, especially Barcelona and the surrounding area. My main interests are photography and music. I play bass guitar and keyboards. I also love making videos and I run my own production company. In T156, I'm hoping to get out there and create some fun videos. I hope it will give me a chance to discover new approaches to my filmmaking. OK, that's great. Just over 36 seconds. Of course, I need to remember that I'll want to add credits at the end, and maybe even a title at the start. I'd suggest leaving about 5 seconds for each of these, so I think I can squeeze it all into the 45 second limit. The great thing about timing it is that I've also practiced it. If you get someone else to time you, maybe they can also give you some feedback on your overall style. Now I have a plan for my voiceover, I'm going to want to assess my assets. The task outline suggests that I use some existing assets, such as photos, but that I should also consider using some of the general views or GVs provided on the media resources section of the module website. Next we can look on the resource wiki to find some useful resources for free music. Of the three on offer here, I'm most familiar with Vimeo, so I'll use that. Here's the Vimeo Music Store. There's a list of downloadable Creative Commons music here, but you need to learn how to search their system to get the best results. For now, I'm going to go straight to their Recommendations tab. This is a great place to start out. I've already heard this track, and it will do nicely for my video. I'll click here to download it. When your download begins, this box opens, and you can easily select and copy the necessary credits directly. 
Finally, I think I have some photos of my own that I can use. This is one of me. I've picked a humorous one because I want to show a little of my personality in my video. The next two are photos that I've taken that might show my interest in photography. Uh, this one is one of my favourite places to have holidays, which fits very nicely with my voiceover plan. Finally, here's an old photo of me practising my bass guitar, showing my interest in music. I've also found this video that I produced last year. And I'd like to use a clip from that. OK, so that's all the assets collected. In the next video, we'll take a look at recording the voiceover.